Sometimes when I feel sleepy in the morning, I do walking meditation before sitting. Do you recommend it for every session? How can I understand the best moment to attain, uh, to shift from walking to sitting? Um, yes, we recommend walking before every round of sitting, a formal meditation. Now, in daily life, it's um, sometimes inconvenient and even undesirable to do walking each before each round, potentially because you've been walking during the day, you've been physically active, or you, you're drained at the end of the day so often. It can be um, the case that, often the case, that they'd rather just do sitting. Uh, on the other hand, you'll find that sometimes walking is more more helpful for you. Um, after a long day of, of stress, it's sometimes difficult to sit down, and you find that walking allows you to calm down, allows you to focus yourself, center yourself before you have to sit, and it sets, yourself, sets you up for a good meditation. Um, our rule of thumb is to do half walking and half sitting, except for the, in the case for an advanced meditator who is deeply involved in meditation. Eventually, and this is for someone who's practicing intensively, it means all day, potentially all night, um, they can come to a point where they've uh, where they, they decide for themselves they do walking as long as they wish and, and then sitting. This is in our tradition. In our tradition, um, we almost always uh, prefer to do half walking, half sitting. One good reason because otherwise it lead, you just follow your partiality. You, you're partial to one and so you do it. And in fact, that that is the wrong reason. That's the, the reason you should switch to be able to break and let go of the partiality wanting to sit, so you walk, wanting to walk, and so you sit. Um, and, and, and so the, 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 the half and half thing, uh, equal, equa equalizing, doing them equal amounts, uh, helps to break that attachment. 